You excited to do this interview with me? Yeah. Super excited. Yeah. It's a clean interview, the clean interview. Sit right back, he's gonna interview you right now. So, and by the way, remember to speak up this time. Okay. Sarcasm. I will. Sarcasm. Here's the thing. I'm back here talking with my 17-year-old Camden Danger Cairo. His middle name really is Danger, by the way. Why don't you tell everyone what you think about your middle name? It's a little bit odd. I don't, I don't put too much thought in I usually just write D for all of my school papers. Has anyone teased you about it? No. They don't believe me when I say that's what it is. <laughs> but, well, have you ever had anyone say, seriously, that's your middle name? That's cool. Like, my, my teachers, anyone under the age of, like, 30 just doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, work with them. I think it's cool. The thought process on that was, my middle name is Wayne, and I don't like it. It's lame. Wayne is lame. Not to offend anyone out there named Wayne. But, if you say danger is my middle name, and it really is, that's cool. Right? See, that's what, it's dated. No one says that anymore. No. I've heard. I have not heard that phrase in like years. Uh, doesn't matter. It's a good idea when I was born. Listen, the last time I did the video with you, it got a lot of hits, a lot of good comments. People liked our interactions. They felt your pain because they know you were tortured and suffered. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking to your dad just isn't cool. Even though I am super cool, I want you guys to know that. Uh, anyway. Life lessons, by the way, this is going to be part of the clean review, just so you know. Oh, wow. I know. That good? Huh? Light, yeah. Life lessons. I have the number one thing I teach Camden, like if I were to die tomorrow, what is the number one thing I tell you? To think for myself. Think for yourself. Why is that important? To form your own opinion so you don't get manipulated by people. Yes. You'll see a lot of people doing stupid things, and it's like your mom would say, well, if everyone jumps off a bridge, are you going to go jump off a bridge? Of course you are. You have to follow the, the herd. You can't stand out. I'm just kidding. Don't be jumping off bridges. But, uh, although I did jump off a bridge when I was... Yeah, you jumped off a tiny bridge. No, I didn't. Sturgeon River Bridge wasn't that tiny. Mm -hmm. Jumped off the a canyon I jumped off last June was higher up than that bridge. You didn't jump off no canyon. I did. What are you talking about? Yeah, Canyon Falls. What, in Lawns? Yeah, or I told you when I did it. Did you? Yeah. Don't dive. I did dive. Seriously. That's the other thing. We'll there watch... are already people that jump down there. I'm not just going to jump down there first. There's a rope and everything. Like Seriously. Feet. Do you remember watching those videos on YouTube about people like jumping off things and they have their ankles no. twisted and then they're just screaming their heads off? No. You seriously don't? Yeah, you do. No, why would I remember that? Because I made you watch them to be like, don't be like this idiot. You're going to show a guy getting like his life. They have a show. whole clip of people jumping off. Like this guy, he's on top of this barn, and his friends are driving by with, uh, with the truck. He's like, dude, it's cool. I'll just jump onto the truck. What does he do? He misses the truck, breaks his tailbone. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> it's, it's funny to us. It's not funny to the kid screaming his head off. So it's pretty funny to everyone else, though. You gonna go to college? This is a big conversation. Camden's a junior. I don't know. Probably not. What are my thoughts on college? Why don't you tell me your thoughts on college? Because it does. Because it's your opinion. What do you think my thoughts on college are? It's dumb and a waste of money. Sort of. And here's the thing: I've got my bachelor's in psychology, and I've got a sociology minor. It's nice to have that, and I am proud of it, but there are so many people who have the degree and they're not using it. What I don't want you to do is go into just like 50 or $100,000 worth of debt right away and come up with some history degree or some, unless you're going to be a teacher, you know, whatever. So where you, people always ask me, are you going to college? Where are you going to go to college if you go to college? What? I, I don't think uh, I'm going Two part to question. You don't think you're going to college for real? No. Hmm. He gets good grades, by the way. So, it's the only reason he gets to play his stupid PlayStation. And the only reason I get to enjoy myself is because I do good in school, huh? Do you still play your Xbox One? Well, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Which one do you like better? What, what do you mean, which one? I love the three I have. I like my computer better. 
What's your computer? What's my computer? Just say what your computer is. It's a computer. Uh, uh, uh. It's a, it's a, a custom made computer. It's not a specific kind of computer. Don't be all. I built techy. it. Myself. You did not build it yourself. Because I took all the old parts out of it. It's of, a, out of what? Out of what? I'll just tell him. It was an Alienware. That's not. It was a Steam machine, and I took all the parts out of it. The only thing that's original there is the case and the GPU. Because you can't take those out. You mean CPU? No, GPU is the graphics processing unit. Oh, crap. And CPU is what processes everything. I thought central processing unit. I thought I could get them on that. Anyway, um, here's my things. My thing. What we'll college? You come up with a skill. Okay, and these are. This is. I'm not saying I'm 100% right, but come out, come out of college with a skill. Be able to do something. I have a general degree, which can get me a general job, and you know what I mean? That's cool, but. Uh, like, what skill would you want to have? From college? Yeah. Like, it has to be from college. Well, no, no, it does not have to be from college. I actually am hoping he'd go into, like, a, you know, to something like a trade school. Actually, to be totally honest, I want him to chase his dreams, whatever they are. Like, like he likes playing video games a lot. Like, I have my friend Isis, whose sister does, works out in L.A. doing that. But... Yeah, but it's different. What did you say when I told you about that? You're like, yeah, but... Ugh. Yeah, but what? Yeah, what did you say? I don't know. What I told you about Xena. You told me about that thing, and what did I say after? I don't know. I need specifics. I said she has a job where she tests, kind of test markets video games. I don't know what it is specifically that she, she does. Play test them to see if there's like something like that. Bugs in it. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, but probably not for Activision. I don't like Activision that much. He doesn't like Activision that much. No, because they're, you know, the whole Hong Kong thing. No, I'm tied with that Blizzard, much. and. The, the they censor pro Hong Kong, like free Hong Kong stuff, because they want business in China. That's what the whole South Park thing was. I mean, they I, censored, like, I have no idea a what guy won a tournament in a game that Blizzard made because they're the same company. It's Activision yeah. and Blizzard. They merged in like 2016. And he won the, his name was Free Hong Kong. And they took all his money away. And he was banned from playing the game for like two years. Oh, wow. And then, but they gave the money back after like public backlash, but that's why I don't like them that much. It's because they just wanted to appease China. He doesn't like that one thing that much, okay? And thanks, thanks for undermining my opinion. Thank no, you. I'm not making fun of it, sir. I'm, no, I'm not. I just I don't know what you're talking about. So I don't, but I don't honestly like. This is where I can get real. I don't want that to like dissuade you from like because that sucks. It sounds like they did something crappy. So don't work for Activision. There's other ones out there. Like Coleco. I'm just kidding. I don't think that's a real thing. Is Coleco still around? <laughs> what is Coleco? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what happens when you're 46 talking to a 17 year old. Nobody knows what a Coleco is. What is a Coleco? I'm surprised Activision is still around. What is a Coleco? A Coleco is like an Atari. But. So anyway, there's different. It's just a joke. It's like using a Commodore 64 computer. Any idea what that is? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's really old. It's like... Yeah. It's like the first computer. Was it 64 bit or is it 64? I have, seriously have no idea. I don't know. I know the 64 cents for something. Well, by the way, make sure you're in the frame, dude. Right. Okay. So I, so I want him to, uh, honestly, because I want him to find something that he loves to do because the, that cliche saying, if you find something you love, you never work a day in your life. Like that is, this is my life lessons to my son. You know, I don't want you to just work a job. The whole idea of college is you get a college, you get an education, you go work a job, you stack chips. That's right. I'm using the lingo. And then you can retire. Dude, <laughs> shut up. I'm, I, I'm cool. I told you that earlier. So I just want you to be happy, make money. You know what I mean? Do what you love to do. I just don't know what that is yet besides playing video games. I mean, what else is there for me to do right now in winter? See, like I don't like what like I could go yeah, outside. Nothing else for me in the snow. Yeah. There, like what? Like yeah, a snow get... angel? Like a snowman? <laughs> like... Yeah, part of me like I'm dumb, but uh, what there's do you like nothing about... else to do. What do you like about winter? Uh, you know I hate winter, and I'm moving away. Yeah, exactly. Dude. The exact same. I hate I, uh, I, I still do things in the winter. So what do you do? What, what do you mean? What do I do? What do you do for activity? In oh, the I'm, I'm not... aside from work, and do your band, which is your hobby. Right. I love doing the band, so yeah. I also watched a lot of Netflix and virtual reality, which he kicked me off of because he's so mad. So you watch TV, you play in a band, and you have a job, right? Yeah. So right. I watch TV, I go to school, and I play video games. The only difference is that you play a lot of video games, and you are in a lot of bands. You yeah, but at least music. I'm out moving around talking to people. <laughs> like, I'm not sitting in my room by myself. Yeah. I mean, what? Yeah, oh, who's people. in there? Who's in there? It, 
Usually you're standing in the doorway just kind of like... Dude, you hand just, hand. you know you screwed up when you said you're not by yourself. Yes, because you I'm not by myself as in I'm not just sitting there talking to no one. No, I suppose. Like, I'm not just sitting there staring at a screen because I like being alone. I go in the Listen, screen. we're wrapping this up, boy. What's it like to have such a cool dad? I wouldn't know. We're going to watch South Park together. By the way, the only reason he's doing this is because it was my birthday and he said he would do it as a... Yeah. In lieu of a birthday gift. Did you get me anything? This is your gift. Yeah, exactly. My presents. You know what, though? It's, it's a good gift. I, thank you. Yeah. Instead of getting any presents, I got his presents. See what I did that? Anyway, it's a very good gift because I asked him to do this last week and he was like, no, no, no. And what did I tell you? <laughs> is that how you think That's I exactly sound? exactly how you sound. Is that how you think I sound? I said no. what? And what did I tell you I was going to do? I don't I didn't. said, so don't ask me for anything. And what did you say? I don't remember. Oh my god! I don't, I don't care enough. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> to remember, because you're always so petty. You'll always you always Yeah, exactly. You said I was petty. I am. <laughs> his his cousin, my niece, Whitney, when she was like 14 or 15, I she we went through the McDonald's drive through I told him this story already. <laughs> I got her a 20-piece, and I, I bought her the 20-piece. I drove there, and I bought her the 20-piece. I said, give me a couple nuggets. Two nuggets. She wouldn't do it. <laughs> that was in like 2004 or something. <laughs> So entitled. I'm still angry. Why didn't you buy your food? You drove there. I just and... bought food for her, dude. Why she wouldn't you... give me two nuggets. Why, why didn't she buy she food wouldn't do for it. you? Why didn't you buy food for you? Uh, because all I wanted was two nuggets and she couldn't do it. Couldn't have See how more? angry I am? So <laughs> I'm just. You shouldn't care. I might be a little bit of a grudge carrier. Same so thank you for doing the video. Yeah. Let's high five. <laughs> okay.